Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. I hope you guys are all doing great. And I'm sending each and every one of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Taurus and it will not resonate with every Taurus cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements in Taurus, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box. Um, lots of valuable information in the description box about my so where I, you can find me on social media, about how to book a personal reading with me, information about me, um, all of that. So please check that out. Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus Collective? I feel like we have a lot of cross watchers watching this or that will watch this reading. All right. So, you know, flip the roles if you if it, you know, to fit if it fits your situation better. All right, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. We have the Five of Cups. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. The Eight of Swords. The Six of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. The Lovers. Gemini, Energy. The Eight of Wands. I feel like someone's freeing themselves from a situation. Somebody's looking at Pisces energy with the hate man. Yeah. Somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving on with their life. Somebody's moving on from a situation. They're seeing something differently and they feel like it's time to move on. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like it's not what you wanted. I feel like you really want it to be able to work together with this with someone or like work on something. But I feel like you guys are maybe feeling like this situation is causing you too much stress. It's keeping you stagnant. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you from progressing. Like it's it's a big blockage for you. So you feel like maybe you have to release this person or this situation. Move on from this. Tell me about the um, Six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands mean? The Four of Wands. What's this mean for my Taurus Collective? The Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about what this means for my Taurus Collective. The Five of Wands. What is this conflict with the Five of Wands? The Fool. Three of Cups. Hmm, hmm. What is this? Who is this? What's this King of Pentacles mean for my Taurus Collective? Justice, you guys are going to be getting what kind of justice? The Nine of Swords, the Hierophant. Yeah, it's like it's becoming very clear that you need to withdraw from this situation. And I feel like actually, you guys making the decision to withdraw from this situation is actually going to lead to a lot of success and victory because there was too much conflict in this situation there was a lot of fighting and conflict what's the fool have to do with taurus the knight of wands we have like leap of faith energy here i feel like you guys have been very conflicted on what to do in regards to this situation but i feel like you guys are maybe like taking a leap of faith what are they taking the leap of faith and doing here Seven of Wands. I 
feel like you guys are freeing yourselves. Maybe like just being single, knowing your worth. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Tell me about this five of cups. What's the same for Taurus? The Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you were hoping that this person would kind of like, yeah, that with the Six of Pentacles on the back of the deck, you were hoping that this person would offer you commitment or stability, put more effort and work into this, invest more into this. And I feel like they invested very little. There, this was an imbalanced connection. This person maybe would like come towards you when they wanted some excitement in their life or they were bored or when they wanted sex. And then as soon as they would get that from you, I feel like this person would maybe like pull back their energy. You thought that maybe things would be like going in the right direction between you and this person. And then all of a sudden they would pull back their energy. They would pull back. That they would maybe invest energy into this when they wanted something from you or when they, yeah, like they, they, when they would want something from you, they would invest energy. But then as soon as they like got what they wanted from you, they would pull back their energy again. They would stop investing as much as they were. They would, they would go back to this page of pentacles instead of this knight of pentacles. It's like this person, it's like this person always would disappoint you. It's like you thought this, something was going to get off the ground with you and this person. And then it was like psych, you know what I mean? Like you always thought maybe... Maybe they're going to start acting right. Maybe things are going to go in the right direction with me and this person. Maybe they're going to finally start compromising with me, meeting me halfway, working together with me. And it would seem like that for a little bit and then they would pull back. That's what this is. Let me take a look at these. Yeah, there was conflict because I feel like this person was saying that they wanted to build something with you. But I feel like... Or you really wanted to build something with this person... What's the Six of Wands mean for my Taurus collective again? What's this mean? The King of Wands. Can we do with the Fire sign and Aries lower side? What about the Six of Wands? The Magician and Straight. The Straight to what? Ten of Cups. It's like you guys have been like just hoping. I feel like very hopeful. What's the reality of the situation? The Six of Swords. That's something that you have to... Oh. You know what this is saying to me, guys? Is that... um. This person's going to continue to be unstable until you walk away from them. I definitely see some type of transformation occurring in this person once you like literally when you really leave them alone, you move on from them. And I feel like that's what you guys are. Maybe it's become very clear to you. That's what you're going to have to do. Like, I feel like th I see this person taking action. I see them like, you know, growing a pair. I see, you know, possibly that you and this person could have long term happiness and fulfillment in the future, but this is something that maybe needs to be revisited in the future because I see that this person is going to continue to be this way, this player, this unsta in unstable in your life, in and out of your life, a player, whatever it is that they're doing, they're going to be like this until you walk away and then something is going to change. Yeah, it's like once you stop talking to this person and release them, it's going to be like a tolerable moment for this person. What's the King of Swords mean for my Taurus collective? The de yeah, death and what's the King for Taurus? The devil. Yeah, it's like you're you're realizing that this is bad for you. This is toxic for you. This person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's just becoming very clear that something is toxic and that it needs to be moved away from. So you're having to make a decision. Yeah, you had hope that this was going to come together, but I feel like you're realizing that this person's never going to give you the love or the attention, the offer that you want from them. So that this, ha this has to come to an end. 
What's this lover's energy? What's coming? What's this decision or what's this? The hermit? Yeah, you're making the decision in regards to this connection to pull back here. Could be dealing with another earth sign, a Virgo. You're making the decision to withdraw from this and heal. Focus on yourself. Just be patient with your love life. But yeah, this is definitely closing out. The situation is definitely coming to an end. I feel like this is going to have this cause this person to have a lot of realizations. Maybe not right away, but it's going to cause this person to have a lot of realizations. But I feel like you feel like this this situation is keeping you very much stuck in your head. It's causing you a lot of turmoil. So tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's going to move forward now? The Five of Swords. What's going to tell me about this Eight of Wands? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're just you 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 don't want this tension in your life anymore. I feel like you're mo making moves to end this. What's what's going on with the Eight of Wands? Yeah, and freeing yourself. I'm telling you, the Nine of Pentacles. What's going to happen now? The Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Like you're gonna fight. You're gonna hold back. I feel like you're gonna hold out. You're not going to get into any. This person's gonna return, guys. I'm telling you, and apologize to you. Want to try to manifest something with you? Try to ask for another uh, with a new beginning with you want to try to invest in the future but it's only after you pull back from them. but i feel like you're going to hold back until somebody you know shows you the same energy that you're capable of giving to a person i also see some of you guys practicing celibacy i also see that for some of you but i just feel like you guys are going to be holding back like not getting into like you guys are going to really be more selective about who you give your energy to I feel like this situation is teaching you a lesson in that. But I see you guys holding back. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The Tower. What's this mean for my Taurus Collective? The Four of Swords. I'm telling you. With the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, that's you withdrawing your energy. It's going to be a Tower moment for this person. Because I feel like you guys were very passionate about them. You were you were taking a lot of action towards them. What's the Ace of Wands mean for this person? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys were kind of like this person's rock a little bit. Like you guys were very nurturing to them. Very loving, very caring. You were extending your good, positive, warm, ener you know, warm energy to this person. And I feel like you guys are not going to be giving that to them anymore. I feel like you guys are pulling your energy back from this person. Yeah, I feel like you guys are withdrawing your energy from them. Yeah, going cold on them. Queen of Swords. They're no longer going to feel that from you anymore. And then all of a sudden here they want to try to reconcile. Yeah, they're going to want to try to reconcile. I'm telling you guys. But they needed to feel your absence. They're going to want to try to come back together and build this with you. This Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance set with the Three of Cups and the Temperance. Yeah, they're going to want to try to reconcile with you in the future. Let's get some more clarity here. You guys were extending a lot of energy to this person. And I feel like you guys are about to pull all that back from them. And they go, they're going to feel it. I'm telling you. All right. Tell me about what's going to happen here in this situation. Tell me about what's going on. Tell me more about what's going on here. We have, yeah. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's forcing this person to grow and transform their life. And you guys are maybe doing the same things for yourself. But it's like. This had to come to an end if this person was ever going to change. Not saying that you and this person will end up together in the future. I do see there's a possibility. Definitely, I see them coming back towards you and offering you something. But this had to come to an end so that, you know, you maybe you guys could take on different forms. This relationship could take a different form. Yeah, tell me more. Yeah, relational abuse. Notice red flags that may be emotional, physical, sexual, financial in nature. Yeah, this was just like a toxic relationship dynamic. So you're taking a chance. That's that full energy. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know what's going to happen after you leave this person alone for good. Because I feel like you guys still, you desire to make things where you want to be with this person. But you guys are making like a, a head over heart decision here is what I'm feeling like. So you guys are taking the leap of faith in a different direction and walking away from this, withdrawing your energy because this is just becoming too much for you. Um... What is the stork card? 
yeah it's like all of a sudden what's his name for my Taurus collective proposal it's like gonna like tell me more about what the stork means for this person strategy this it's, this person's gonna be trying to figure out how to have a new beginning with you this person wants to have a family with you they maybe even want to have a child with you They're going to come in. Yeah, they're going to come in and want to try to have this have a new beginning with you. What is this ideas manifest? They're trying to strategize something here. Yeah, they're trying to strategize how to get cuz they view you as marriage material. They know that you are valuable. But I feel like this person, they're going to come towards you with an, an offer, like wanting to be in a committed relationship. This person doesn't want you getting away from them. They're going to propose something to you, want to take things to the next level. But what's going to lead up to this? What's going to lead up to this? This person has to get on the same page as you. Yeah, it's like this person needs to get on your level. What's triggering that? What's the trigger? What's triggering this person? It's just this part is just time. I feel like you and this person need time apart. This person needs to, uh, it's like this person's not going to let you go though. This person is like very set on you being their husband or their wife, but they have a lot of toxic ways and thinking behaviors, addictions that they need to release and let go of. Yeah, there's this a big you and this person need time apart. Because right now this person's not relationship material. Like the, the sex may be good between the two of you, but that's about it. But this person's going to return. I'm telling you and want to talk things out. Spirit says, um, it, you know, start manifesting, start writing down like what you want in a person, what you want your, you know, your, your significant other and what you want them to look like, what you want the relationship to look like. They're telling you and be in, uh, in. Be unapologetic about that. That Like be, be very, how, how do I say that? They want you to write it down and not settle for anything less than that. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is something about timing. Timing is off for you and this person, but I definitely see them coming back. I need more clarity on something is true. What's the trigger card mean for my Taurus collective? What does trigger mean for the runner? I feel like it's going to be very trigger. Tr what's triggering this person to get their shit together is you leaving them. And I don't feel like they're expecting this. Like the way that you're about to leave them or the, you not keeping in touch with them anymore. Like it's going to be a period of time they don't hear from you. It's probably the longest period of time they've ever gone without talking to you or you, you not reaching out to them. It's going to take this person a minute to get it, guys, is what I'm getting here. So Spirit just wants you to, you know, maybe spend time with your friends. Focus on yourself, living happily single, have, enjoying your life. All right. Um, this person's going to come back, though, I'm telling you. Let me see here. Yeah, it's like you leaving is like triggering something to change in this situation or some, triggering something to change within this person. What's the future hope for this connection? We have grass is greener. Trying to replace you or believe they can find someone better. Not worth waiting for. Oh, so let's see here. We have divine love. Yeah, you sign up to do the journey together before you were born. Nothing will go wrong. Spirit says keep an open mind. Keep an open mind while looking for love to sample the array of possibilities that life presents.
We have last test. Yeah, they're going to try. We have taking. Yeah, so this person may try to, like, come back to you. Because I feel like Spirit is saying, like, with that trigger card, I feel like they're, they may try to come towards you. Like, maybe after they haven't heard from you in a while. And I feel like you guys are going to, like, not respond to this person in the in the way that they expect you to. Like, it's going to be different than how you would normally respond. Or you guys might not respond at all. And it's going to be very um triggering to this per person. I definitely see this person coming back into your life. And nothing will have changed with them. They will still be the same person. But Spirit is saying, I feel like that's what you guys are finally learning your lesson when it comes to this situation. You guys are realizing that you guys have to leave this alone. This is a, a cycle between you and this person that needs to be broken. They're never going to change if you keep, you know, letting them, you know, get away with this. Or you keep giving them chances when they haven't even tried to work on themselves or change. Or they're not offering you more. You're settling. They're never going to change. Um, but I do see them taking action towards you. No more talk. They want to show you and put in the work to repair what they've broken. Yeah, right now, I told, right now this person's resisting this connection. Tell me about grass is greener. What's this mean for this person? You deserve better. So this person maybe thinks like right now there's something better for them than you. They think maybe things are better. Like they think the grass is greener on the other side. That they're not seeing like the value of being with you. Or this person is exploring other options or something here. Or spirit is maybe telling you that they're, the grass is greener because we have forbidden fruit. Yeah, I feel like maybe some of you guys are, you guys are going to be exploring other options. You guys are very like, you guys feel like you could definitely find somebody that could give you better than what this person. Yeah, because we have, you deserve better. The grass is greener. You're going to try, you're going to maybe think that there's something better for you out there than this person. And I feel like there is too. But it's like, once this person feels like you've gotten away from them or something, it says they see your glow up and treat by this new you and feel you've moved on. Now they want you back. Yeah. It's like when they feel like maybe they find you've replaced them or you found someone better. What does grass is greener mean for my um, Taurus collective? New perception. They see you in a different light and want to get to know you more. Yeah. They're going to watch you from a distance. It also, this person may try to get back out there and start dating again. And they may see that nobody compares to you. Like they're going to, they're going to be looking at you differently because of the, the the people that they encounter after you let's see here is this person gonna try to come back i feel like they are for sure saturday we have no so maybe they're not they're not coming back divine change your yeah divine timing something about timing we have february here though i feel like spirit is saying that uh they don't want you to what is the no no to what where's my deck that i was just using no to what testing the waters before making a big decision they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same way What, is, what does no have to do with my Taurus collective? Hard decision. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's see here. I feel like Siri is saying that you guys are going to have to reject this person. It's going to be hard to move away from them, but you're going to have to reject them. But I do feel like this person's going to try to come back. What's going to, what's the future look like for this connection? Karmic soulmate. Oh, so this could be a karmic move on. Yes, you're saying that this is a karmic. I can't stop thinking about you. What's this mean for my Taurus collective in this situation? I was not good enough for you. Falling in love. What's karmic soulmate mean for this connection? Is this a karmic soulmate? They can be trusted. They, I feel like you guys are going to maybe date other people or they have another relationship in between now and when they come back to you or you have another relationship between now and when they come back to you. There's like some, or somebody is still connected to a karmic soulmate that they need to move on from, but they can't stop thinking about you.
Yeah, they're going through some type of rebirth. Yeah, some of you guys are going to meet somebody else. This is a little bit complicated. What is the overall potential of this relationship? Where is this headed? Is this something that's going to come back? Yeah, we have out of... This is going to take this person a long time to get whatever they need to together. It's going to take years, guys. So Spirit's saying that that's why they're telling you to move on. Because it's going to take this person a really long time. And I feel like you have other options coming in. Like, you, you, the grass is greener. There is other options. There is somebody better than this mess. You know what I mean? So, I definitely do feel like they're going to come back. And I feel like things are going to change once you walk away from them. But I feel like in the meantime, you guys might meet somebody else. It may be too late for them when they try to come back around. Somebody, there's definitely going to be some karmic soulmates in the mix. I don't feel like this person is here. What, let's just, what is the purpose of this connection? What's the purpose of this connection? Oh, we have, yeah, this is probably a karmic, guys. It feels so intense, so you think that there's love between you and this person, but... Yeah, we have false hope. A false twin flame will lead you in, lead you on and tell you that they feel the same way about you, only for you to discover later on that isn't the case. We have so-called love. The connection is so intense, it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. Is it love you feel or addiction? Yeah. So I feel like this is a karmic and spirit says it's best that you move on. And I feel like you have other options coming in. All right. I do feel like this person will try it in the future. But I feel like spirit is saying that you need to reject this person. There's something better than this for you. All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Personal ratings are open. Um, check the description box for information about that, as well as links to my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok accounts where I post collective readings. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day, weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.